What's going on, family? What's going on? What's going down? What's checking? Welcome to another episode of Super Black Comic Book Reviews by Jonathan Soul. Now, I got a fantastic book that I want y'all to check out. Uh, this is uh, Jason Wise by Ureus. I believe I'm pronouncing the brother's name uh, correctly. He's the uh, force behind uh, Black Heroes Matter. I guess they have like a, a website and I believe they have conferences and things of that nature. And so uh, I heard about him you know, from various places and heard about the character, uh, Jason Wise. Uh, Jason Wise is an immortal. Uh, he got gifted this uh, long life, um, you know, way, way, way back in the day. And uh, he's been around in ancient Africa. And so so it's, it's almost like he's an adventurer. And so he's been at the right place at the right time in various aspects of history. And so um, for people who dig historical fiction, where you kind of write your character into real life events. For example, who's that? That's Hannibal Baraka. There's Hannibal Baraka. Now, this is one of the best motherfucking sprays I've seen since I've been black. Now, I've been black a long time. Okay? I'm not going to show you the other one because I want you to do what? I want you to buy this book. Now, I got it because I follow. Um, Black Heroes Matter on Instagram. And I said, hey, anybody knows where I can find out material on uh, Jason Wise? And he said, yeah, yeah, I did Jason Wise. And so I uh, PayPal him the bread and, and he sent me a, a copy. And it's autographed. Young, keep me, I love autographed uh, copies. So um, let me go through my little notes here because I want to uh, get right to the point. Uh, obviously, it's a very nice book or else I wouldn't be reviewing it. I buy a lot of books. And I only review certain ones. If you got a book that has uh, black people being lynched and all that kind of stuff in your material, to me, that's that's trauma-inducing. And so I'm not going to review it. I think I did one book like that in the early days. But since I kind of developed a philosophy around this, uh, this comic book a review series, um, three principles real quick. Let me just go ahead and go through it now because this book fits perfectly in this. Okay, three principles. Um, the Jonathan Soul comic book principles. That's what I'm calling it right now. The first one is, is, is three principles, six words. The first one is Malcolm wins. Okay. First one is Malcolm wins. And you can take that however you like, but that's the principle. Malcolm wins. The second one, family first. To me, it's very important that, you know, if possible, there'd be a family involved or, or some kind of you know, familiar. Now, does Jason Wise have a family? I don't see it <laughs> in this book. But um, but he, he definitely meets the first one, the first criteria. The second criteria is no trauma. Three words. Malcolm wins, family first, no trauma. Family first because a lot of times children read these books. No trauma is like what I said, you know, us being lynched and, and, and you know, you got us. Okay, so you got us back in the day. And so we're saying yes to boss and all that kind of shit. And then there's an adventure. It's like, but you just you just took all the energy out the room with the yes to boss. You know, I got a book on my shelf right now about the being to a movie. I'm not gonna review it here because it got the it got the yes to boss stuff in it. So anyway, so let me get back into it. Beautiful art. Look at this here. Now it's a it's a short book, and so these pages are kind of filler in a way. Um and if you're looking at if you're looking for straight story, but the art is gorgeous. You see a lot of artwork from Mashindo Kumba, which I've talked about, and he's been on my podcast uh, uh, a lot. And uh, he got a decent ropes gallery. Um, the artist changed, so it's not all Mashindo, it's other artists in here. Uh, oh, man, I didn't want to show you that. But anyway, so it's a lot of great uh, stories in here. So, a great character. He's moral, he's wise, he's the adventurer, action hero, historical fiction. So, there's a lot of little tidbits of history sprinkled in there and if you're a lover of history it might be something that you want to look up it's almost like if you have a, a a rapper who's a deep lyricist you might want to go and research what does he mean by that you know kind of a thing i remember i heard a, a song by mortal technique he was talking about coca-cola and all this kind of shit in south america i was like oh, let me look this up and you know you learn you know what i mean kind of a thing even raz Kaz, nature the threat Y'all got to be real, real hip-hop heads to know that one. Okay, so anyway, so uh, he has a decent ropes gallery. Um, okay, that's a decent ropes gallery. Artwork, I told you, it's the best I've ever seen in any book. There's only a few books 
that come close um, to this type of artwork in the store. It's only a few books I got. Now, all of the books don't have this kind of uh, fine art realism to it. Some of the some of the um, some of the the stories have a straight up comic book style, which is cool. You know, this is totally terrific. You know, I'm just giving you a sense. So, all right, so that's that. Uh, many styles. Okay. And the last one, a lot of short stories. This is about, uh, I didn't count them, maybe five or six short stories in here. And there's one that's just text. It's like a novel, short, you know, vignette kind of thing. And this brother, he does a lot of uh, fantasy fiction, what they call sword and soul type stuff. His, his platform is really blowing up. So this is definitely a book you want to add to your collection. Um, I would say it's definitely good for the teenagers and so forth. Uh, um, if you, uh, I believe these accounts are still live, but this is, this is how I got my book. I, uh, I hit the brother up on Instagram right here and, uh, I sent him the bread and he sent me the book and I actually tipped him cause, uh, it's just that good. So yeah, so definitely, um, definitely, uh, contact the brother and get your copy of the book. And uh, add it to your collection. I mean, look at this. Look at this shit right here, man. I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't going to lie to you. I was going to call the authorities because this was so good. And there's not a... I don't I don't see a... Where's the other volumes at? Do I need to get... Do I need to call my senator? Uh, Uraeus? Do I need to call my senator to get another book? Is that what it is? Do we need to pass another stimulus bill to get my... To get my... To get another volume of this, man? Come on, bruh. When the last time you seen some shit like this? Come on. Okay, I know he had Wakanda. Yeah, this is Hannibal, y'all. This is fucking Hannibal, fam. You ain't never seen this since you've been black. You ain't never seen this. Not in America. So anyway, so this is really groovy. And um, and there's a, there's a crossover book that I believe I reviewed that actually had uh, this brother and um purge in it so anyway I, i'm going i'm going oh yeah yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a crossover book but i don't want to take time to grab it so anyway go support the brother get copies of this book buy them buy them out and uh when you put a little note in your paypal or whatever just tell them where my where my volume two at fam all right love you guys john the soul john the soul oh i got stickers too you got to give me the stickers too i was like oh snap i want to put them on my laptop I'm afraid my laptop about to die, fam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't want to put them on and then I got to take them off. But anyway, John the Soul, John the Soul .com. I got to start uh, interviewing people again and uh, all that kind of stuff. I do a, a, a serious, more serious uh, podcast called Nonfiction where I talk about news and current events. All right. Love you guys. John the Soul, John the Soul .com. John the Soul on Instagram, uh, Twitter, um, a Black Junction. And other places. All right. Peace.